Seven star, uh, Sherwin Stowers. Shoes, uh, how did you enjoy that uh, session, mate? Something different for you? Yeah, it's got different, different compared to running, what we're usually used to and traditional to, but uh, good to come out here and mix with multi and, and uh, get the 12 rounds. Yeah. How much different is it to uh, giving your legs a rest for a change? Uh, we hear about these torture sessions that you have with uh, Titchens. How hard are they? Yeah, it is hard, you know, it's uh, from a scale to 1 to 10. It's about a 10, you know, so uh, it's good that, you know, when we all get a day off from, from running and, and mix it up in the boxing, uh, we always put our hand up for that. Uh, you've been a veteran of the Titch's uh, training regimes for a very long time. What's it like when you see these young guys experiencing it for the first time? Do you have uh, a laugh? Good. Yeah, it's good. You know, you test them out, test their ticket a little bit. Uh, and that's what it's all about when you come to the seminars of home, and, and especially in the boxing, you know. Um, you can't hide in the boxing ring one-on-one. -on -one, so, uh, but they did really well, guys like Akira and a couple of other young fellas in the team. So. So you guys had an outstanding um, last year uh, World World Series in the sevens. Uh, is it very much like the All Blacks, where you, you've got something to live up to? Because the record when you go to Com Games and, and the big events is something huge. Do you feel that that pressure? Yeah, there's always pressure or, or expectation from the back jersey. So, uh, but we thrive on it. Um, you know, we don't want to let the jersey down. We always say. We always say to each other, you know, you're only, you're only a keeper to the jersey, so uh, we, we want to leave our own legacy on the jersey. And what happens when you guys have always got your arms uh, embraced or touching each other before or after um, the games? What, what's that all about? Oh, we, we just like to give each other a bit of love, you know, a bit of high five and, uh, and, uh, and share, the, share, share the love round. So uh, that this, uh, that's part of the tradition that's always been there and uh, we just continue it on. All right, give us some guys. Who's the biggest snorer on the side? Biggest snorer? It will probably have to be DJ Forbes. You know, he probably won't admit to it because he's captain, but he's probably the biggest. I've ringed the room a couple of times and he won't admit to it if you ask him. What about the bossiest on tour? Bossiest on tour. It will probably have to be. Oh, all the boys are quite good, I think. Uh, uh, probably. Uh, no, yeah, I wouldn't say there's anyone bossy. Just, okay. What about Messi boys? Messi was always the young fella. So, yeah, always the young fella. I remember for Kedah. And uh, he lives a stuff all over around him, feel like his parent telling him what to do, so uh, he's probably the messiest. Uh, back in my day, mate, if the young guys was in your squad, uh, that, that'd make you a cup of tea. I, I bet that, that that's changed somewhat now. <laughs> no, it's still the same. It's still the same. The other, make us a cup of tea or clean our boots, so um, if you're a young fella, uh, you wouldn't like it being an artist. Now, you're a bit of a sweet tooth man, and you like your, your fast food at times. Uh, not that I'm saying anything about your physique, uh, but when you're in camp with uh, Titch, uh, I believe there's none of that. How do the boys go? Do you, do you struggle, or do you sometimes sneak out and get some of that stuff into you? No, it's quite good, because we do it at home, you know, it's a bit of a habit. You know, so, um, nutrition's probably a big part in the sevens environment. Um, if you cut corners there, then you're probably going to see, see yourself uh, getting behind in this environment. So, um, the boys are quite good, but in saying that, uh, boys do go a bit go wandering around the dairy sometimes, so yeah. but luckily uh, Tips doesn't see that. So at the moment you've got a squad of 16, it's going to get cut to, to 14, so two are going to come out. Yeah. Um, that's going to be tough, but I also see that potentially you uh, may be thinking where you're going to go because you, you might have your first baby on the way. Yeah, my baby's due same time while, while we're at camp overseas, so uh, my mumsies is saying, uh, telling me to go, but uh, I'm sort of a bit up in the air at the moment being my first child. And, and, and both of us, they don't want to share the experience. You know, always hear from the boys. Uh, being a part of that uh, experience is, is crucial. So um, I'd like to stay, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, baby comes up early and uh, get, uh, get both boys. Uh, mate, and just finally, uh, what's it like being at the Com Games and, 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 and experiencing getting the gold medal? Yeah, it's in the sevens. Before it was in the Olympics, it was a pinnacle event for us. Uh, Come more games and the World Cup. It uh, comes around every four years, and, and this is what we train for, you know. So. Um, a lot of pressure on us since we won the last three, so uh, we're just going to go there and just do our thing. Sean Stowers, thanks for joining me, mate, and you could make a career in boxing if you try. <laughs> Thank you, Monty. <laughs>